Hello, I am a pair of skull candy headphones. And I am a visually arresting transformation from man to werewolf. And this is the Nerd Update. We bring you all the news regarding the superhero film industry in a clear, concise, and reliable format. Mm -hmm. As we promised, more Dark Knight Rises info. We really should just change the name of our channel to the Dark Knight Rises miscellaneous info. Or, or a fan club info. Well, I'm a fan girl, personally. Uh, oh, I was aware of that. I didn't think we were going to put it on the air. But we just did. And it's a good thing mm. we're shooting from the waist up today. Just under two weeks ago, we've received some incredible news about the Dark Knight Rises uh, visual confirmation mm. of Bane. I mean, it's one thing to hear that right. it's going to be Bane, right. Right. but everybody gets flashbacks to the Joe Schumacher Bane. I know, yeah. I mean, just the ridiculous Hulk of gross imbecility. And Christopher Nolan, just from one photo, has created the coolest band oh my gosh. in existence. I don't know what what that thing on his like mask is. You said before it almost, almost looks, looks like, like a skeleton, skeleton hand like, on his like mouth piece area. Probably just um, me reading into it, honestly. Mm -hmm. But it looks cool. It's an odd like mask. Mm -hmm. Normally I hadn't actually realized this until right now, but normally he has like a like a almost like luchador mask mm -hmm. of sorts. It, oh, of course. And it, uh, this is covers nothing, nothing face, like it. But not in this one. It's almost like a gas mask type of thing oh, yeah. in a way. I don't know. Yeah, much Which more like mechanical. and Could make extra. sense yeah. with the whole Venom thing. Right. For those of you who don't know, uh, Venom is a super steroid pumped into Bane. It's how he gets his super strength. Uh, if you've watched the Joe Schumacher version, uh, Batman and Robin, you'll see that he gets hulking strong, but the original Bane is a little more complex than that. Oh yeah, absolutely. So this uh, photo was released actually from the website, thedarknightrises.com. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Coolest way for this to come out. Why I'm going to go on a yeah, to explain the, the so, campaign. So <clears throat> if you go to the website, thedarknightrises.com, you hear this creepy, awesome chanting. Um, nobody was quite sure what it was until some awesome geek genius took the audio uh, segment from the site, the chanting segment, they put it into their computer, decoded the audio segment, and found out that this computer code, whenever, however they figured this out, um, equaled the hashtag, which is a Twitter thing, um, for something that you talk about on Twitter, equaled the hashtag, the fire rises. Um, when somebody would tweet this, then a additional pixel of the picture would be revealed. As people kept tweeting, the right. fire rises. It, like, first, when you would go to the page, it was just, like, a black screen. Yep. And that weird chanting. And as people tweeted, it slowly became more and more pixelated until finally you could see a picture of the full of image. Right. The Dark Knight... Uh, the Dark Knight from 2008, was it? Uh -huh. uh, their viral campaigning was renowned, uh, just huge, mm -hmm. and this is apparently supposed to increase it tenfold. Yeah. Follow the Nerd Update on Twitter. Hey, yeah, no, do that. <laughs>